Riding a loop the loop. A car in an amusement park ride rolls without friction around a track. You can see in the figure. The car starts from rest at point A at a height H above the bottom of the loop. Treat the car as a particle. Part A. What is the minimum value of H in terms of capital R, the radius of the loop, such that the car moves around the loop without falling off at the point B? Part B. If H is equal to 3.5 R and R is 14 meters, compute the speed radial acceleration and tangential acceleration of the passengers when the car is at point C, which is at the end of a horizontal diameter. Show these acceleration components in a diagram approximately to scale. So in part A, I will start by noting the energy at the beginning. Initially, we have zero kinetic energy because the car was at rest. One half mv initial square is zero joules. The final kinetic energy at point B will be one half m vb squared at speed at point B squared. Initial potential energy at a height h above the bottom of the loop is mgh. The final potential energy is the potential energy at point B, which is mg. So what is the uh, height? Here we have a distance of 2r from the bottom of the loop. So it's, it will be mg2r. And we have no friction in the system. Therefore, energy must be conserved. The change in the mechanical energy of the system should be zero. That means the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy is zero. So the change in kinetic energy is final kinetic energy, one half mvb square minus the initial kinetic energy zero plus the final potential energy mg2r minus the initial potential energy mgh should be zero. So you can see this is independent of the mass of the car and the passengers. And therefore we obtain um, in 2g uh, parentheses, so this will become um, 2g h minus 2r because I'm multiplying uh, this by 2 mg2r it becomes mg4r minus mg2h m's have cancelled and uh, here I'm left with vb square so this will be equal to vb square okay so that's what the energy equation conservation of energy tells me so these were calculations based on conservation of energy. Now I concentrate on the free body diagram at point B. The car with passengers at point B. Now at point B, um, at the top of the loop, I feel the weight and there will be a normal force from the track and they're all pointing down towards the center so they are in minus r hat direction so if this is the radially outward direction r axis um, modeling the car and passengers as a particle here i see the weight mg pointing down and the normal force from the track pointing down normal force at point B. So the net radial force I have here is minus mg r hat minus the normal force r hat which is equal to minus mv square over r r hat. However, I note that 
at the verge of losing contact with the track the normal force will approach zero so that that means there's no physical contact the normal force will approach zero so we will find that mvb square over r must be equal to mg again m's cancel and therefore uh, vb square should be equal to r g why because we were saying what is the minimum value of a such that the car moves around the loop without falling off at the point uh, b for minimum value of h we will be at the verge of losing contact at point b and this will correspond to a zero normal force okay so let's continue uh, if we look at our equation 2g h minus 2 r is equal to vb square so 2g h minus 2 r is equal to vb square which is rg uh, we find that 2h minus 4r is equal to r why because the g's cancel here and uh, h becomes 5r over 2 or 2.50r that's the minimum value of h so that the car will just make it to point b and will not fall off the track as it moves through point b okay now part b says h is 3.5 r so we're above the minimum value and r is 14 meters we want to know the speed radial acceleration tangential acceleration of the passengers at point c and uh, we will show these acceleration components in a diagram so in part b h is equal to 3.50 r r is equal to 14.0 meters again we have conservation of energy delta e mechanical should be zero the initial kinetic energy at the beginning was uh, zero joules the final kinetic energy at point c now will be one half total mass uh, vc squared the initial potential energy was mgh which is mg 3.5 r so 3.5 mgr and the final potential energy will be what at point c this is a an, in a horizontal uh, diameter so we are a radius away from the bottom so it will be mgr okay so uh, the change in kinetic energy one half m v c square minus zero plus the change in potential energy m g r minus three point five m g r is equal to zero m's cancel and uh, we find that velocity uh, the speed at contact at the point c will be equal to um, so if you multiply this by 2 we will obtain uh, 2gr minus 7gr so that will give us a 5 so this will become 5gr square root so this will be square root of 5 times 9.8 times the radius was given as 14 meters uh, therefore the speed at point C is 26.2 meters per second up to three significant figures okay now we want to know 
uh, the radial component of the acceleration. So AR I call radial or uh, centripetal acceleration. And this is given by the speed squared divided by r, we see square over r. So this will be 5gr divided by r, r's will cancel and we will obtain 5g. So 5 times 9.8 meters per second square, which will give us 49.0 meters per second square radial component of acceleration magnitude. Now for the tangential component, I will concentrate on the free body diagram at point C. So at point C, I have the weight of the car pointing down, the normal force from the track pointing towards the center. This is the R hat direction, this is the theta hat direction. So uh, let me show my directions here for the radial and tangential axes. This is R hat radially outward, this is theta hat tangential direction and uh, my weight is pointing down in the tangential direction mg. The normal force at point C is pointing towards the center. So if I write the net tangential force, this will be equal to uh, mg, which is equal to mass times acceleration tangential component. So m's will cancel and I will find that the tangential component of acceleration is g, which is 9.8 meters per second square and it's pointing down. So the last part of the problem was to show the acceleration vector schematically. So the total acceleration uh, vector A is uh, basically minus 49.0 R hat plus 9.8 theta hat. So uh, if we show this in a diagram, we will draw about a unit, one unit in the tangential direction and about five units in the radial direction. AR. So the total acceleration vector will be this vector, vector A, which has a radial and tangential component like this. All right, so uh, to summarize, we have a car that starts from rest at a distance h from the bottom of the loop it uh, goes to the top of the uh, loop at point B, what should be the minimum value of H so that it won't fall off. So it shouldn't fall off, it will continue on the track. So we want to know the minimum value of H and find, uh, so noting that H is 3.5 R, what are the speed, a radial component and tangential component of acceleration at point C and show them on a diagram. That was the question. So first of all, there is no friction in the problem. So uh, in the first part, I have zero joules to start with. I start from rest. Then I have the kinetic energy at point B, one half MVB square. Initial potential energy is MGH. Final potential energy is MG2R. So this gives me an equation for VB square. And if I look at the free body diagram at point B, because I'm at the verge of losing contact with the track, the normal force will go to zero. So for minimum H, and uh, this will give me VB square equals RG. So I substitute this result here. I obtain H minimum is 2.5 R. So this is basically the minimum possible value of H 
so that it won't fall off. And if h is 3.5 r, greater than the minimum value, r is 14 meters, initial kinetic energy is 0 joules, final kinetic energy at point C is 1 half mvc square, uh, initial potential energy is 3.5 mgr, final potential energy, because I'm a distance r uh, from the bottom, mgr. So I write the energy conservation equation that gives me the speed, 26.2 meters per second. The radial component, or the centripetal acceleration, is v squared over r. Um, the tangential component is due to the tangential force mg, which is pointing down at point c. So the tangential acceleration is simply the gravitational acceleration. So the radial acceleration is pointing towards the center. It's in minus r hat direction. Tangential acceleration is in theta hat direction. And roughly the radial component is uh, five times the uh, tangential component. So on a diagram, this is how we can show the total acceleration vector.